Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to continue on with Frambo. I don't really remember um, what chapter we're currently up to, what episode we're currently up to, but I thought I would give my new mic a test. So I've never really bought a mic for myself before um, and I want to give it a go. This is the Tonar, let's see. I've, didn't, I've done an unboxing of this in a vlog that should probably already be up. Um, so I'll link that in the cards if you're interested but it's this mic obviously you can't really see I don't want to ruin <laughs> the ambiance at the minute um, but it is this one the T TC777 um, USB condenser microphone I've done a few little testy tests just to see how it sounds um, but this is the first kind of video I'm using it in so let me know if it improves the sound quality at all I know I could probably just use the the mic on this headset but honestly the, I was just going to use like standard headphones and it just wasn't connecting for some reason so I've just quickly grabbed my boyfriend's ones just to make sure that it doesn't pick up the sound of the game um, but it seems like my voice sounds a little bit clearer so you're going to have to let me know uh, I also got recently a mic a what a no a laptop case which is really cute um i got this customizable one with cacti on it and my name on etsy it really stinks though it smells of like petrol or something um and inside it's really fleecy and nice and soft so optimum protection anyway um that being said let's crack on it's actually been like i want to say a week or two since i actually last um continued this game so i don't really remember where i was at i don't know why i don't just you know watch over some of the footage and get a bit of a glimpse before i start but i never really intend to film until i just do except for actually no that's a lie i did want to film because i wanted to wear a wig today and i thought it'd be fun but i ended up spending like 20 minutes trying to detangle this moisturizing it gave it a hair trim a little bit of tlc and then i thought well okay i think i'm ready to film something now just so happened to be this video so um let's continue let's see what we had to do i think i was in the middle of getting spells or something um okay so this is the one that we're not doing because it's evil we want the good spells so i need a blue bloomed moonlight rose and hair from the person that you want to bewitch let's see I couldn't remember that's it I couldn't figure out how to get them the rose I, I thought it would be somewhere here because it's like the moon isn't it and what about those but it doesn't seem to be the case I've actually got drinks with me this time round, so hopefully <laughs> hopefully I don't start having a coughing fit I feel like I'm shouting because these head phones are actually quite nice um i think they're just from amazon i will find out what they are because i don't know off the top of my head because they're not mine um but if you recognize them feel free to comment but i'll find out what they are and put them in the description because i'll say they're not mine so my partners um they're actually quite not counseling because i can hear i can hear my voice but i feel like it's very muted like i have to shout to hear myself so i mean that sounds good <laughs> i don't know let's see last time i stopped is because i was on the brink of wanting to look up cheats um so i might actually end up doing that this time around just because i feel like i've tried everything that i can try unless of course i haven't <laughs> and i just feel like i'm dragging out things when i could be getting to the next the next situation oh yeah i forgot about this room takes me back to that watery place, doesn't it? I just still don't understand where that frog even came from. Like, the amount of times I was like wading through this water and then all of a sudden, just when I found something, he comes along and just takes it. It's the audacity for me, it really is. <laughs> all right, let's see if there's anything of use up here still. Oh, it won't even let me. Oh. I can't even go up there now. 
Well, that's frustrating. Um, I still don't know why I've got that exterminator thing. real I can't remember if I touched it before I poked it I feel like this has given me the clue that I need because of the moon and the rose but it might make it purple but does uh, blue but I think green and red makes purple doesn't it I thought if I scribbled on it something might happen oh uh, I really don't like this room <laughs> these are roses mm. okay I have returned and I have come back with fizzy fish sweets sublime absolutely delicious and very sour right let's continue shall we totally I forgot that I wasn't wearing this I was like why is it so silent there we go <laughs> not helpful a rare seed a rare seed yes <laughs> Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> Yay. I grew it on water. Okay. The seed. That's the thing. The first thing I think that I got when I was in this part of the game. So dumb. Why did I? Oh, I don't know. Okay. No, I just need the hair. Are those girls gonna repair? Where would I find the hair? I would imagine the bedroom or something. Do I have a brush? Did I pick up something? No. Surely there's got to be head on, hair on the bed. Hmm. Oh yeah, this just takes me to that room, doesn't it? Not helpful. Hmm. 
Hmm. See, that that was a really good clue, to be fair. I was just being dumb. And the mermaid was kind of... Well, I assume it's the mermaid. It's kind of throwing me off because I thought something was going to... thought someone was going to give me something. I don't know. But no, I had to work for it. Cheek. The audacity. Right. I don't know how to get the hair. Um, hair from the person who went to the witch. I'm not sure how to get that. I, I thought they might have just turned up once I did the flowery thing. Um, Hmm. There's no brush or anything lying around, is there? No, I've already said that, but that's the only thing I can think of. Um, and I can't get back up to that attic room. that creaky noise is so unsettling maybe that frog will have something to tell me again still gonna tell me the same thing isn't it I'm gonna have to look this up because I can imagine myself just taking even longer to do this. Right, let's find it. Ah! It looks like we need to go back in this room and go to this typewriter. Oh, maybe not. I thought, hold on a minute. What did it say then? Because I swear. It says to take your pills again and go back to the house. Head left to the room with the recaptured body. Place, th ah, place the paper with the old recipe in the typewriter. Because it needs paper, of course. There we go and add hair from your head to it. We're going to trick the twins. Ah. Okay, let's see. Oh, ow, hit my knee. Hair from your head. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this, it can't be good. Okay, she's written that. I guess that's how she gets the hair. Fuck. Fran, here are the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast and let us know when you're ready. Oh, psst, girl. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. What was it? Ew. Something nasty. Are they in here? Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There is no hair needed. We know that. 
But look for yourself. It's written there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. Fabulous. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Yeesh. What was in that bag? Something horrible. Right. Dark hair from the twin's head. Use in boiling water. Okay. That's it, isn't it? So I've just got to let them know, I guess. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. It's all of them. Okay. How are there some missing ingredients? Okay, let's just go back to them, the twins, and have a little look. Oh, I'm trying to stretch out my legs. Um, okay. We're waiting for you, Fran. Okay, well, how do I get it? How do I pick it up then? Oh, wait, no. Let me read the instructions again. I think there's something I'm supposed to do. Drop in the ground, blah, blah, put it in it, fill a cauldron with water and put all the other elements in it. Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around. Ooh, the pentagram. How are there some missing ingredients? I put them all in. Um, do I just use that? Okay, salt and pepper into the magical soup. Okay, literally, was it just salt and pepper? Did I miss that? Okay, yeah, I, I, it looked like it was crossed off, but it's because I had it, I just didn't put it in the soup. Bloody hell, it's the little things that really make me look daft. <laughs> okay, let's examine this. I made the most incredible magic potion in the world. So now, do I actually pour it over them? Boiling water on a person, that's gonna be painful. But surely they need to come towards the pentagram. Hopefully they'll follow me. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's go to the girls. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Oh, I have to follow them manually. That's annoying. I thought they were just going to transport me there with their editing skills. Okay. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. This is so scary. Yeah. Oh. It's got to be painful. And now I'll say the words. I'm not going to read that just in case some heebie jeebie <laughs> witchcraft happens. Okay. Hello, Elsa. How would they know that so soon? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <clears throat> well, I didn't expect them to just die like that. the hell oh dear mmm actually where's that frog gone oh you're still asking me the same thing mmm is that girl still there mm-hmm cool Elsa, she's looking at me over there, just staring at me. Hello. Hello. I'm just seeing if any if anything's changed now. That's literally why I'm walking around like that. Mm. 
The key doesn't fit? What? Where was there another key? <gasps> Fuck! This is why I only play this game in bright daylight. Where was the other key? Hold on a minute. So, and what's that? A puzzle? The hell? What am I supposed to do? A mechanical thing, it rotates, it may be some sort of engine. This one can't be moved. Let's have to open this thing, but how? How indeed? Every time I go into rooms, I see like more and more detail. But I'm missing the detail that I need. <laughs> um. mm. Where did I see another key? I didn't, did I? Did I? Are you sunbathing? There was no other key. Hmm. Was there? I feel like I'm doubting myself. Are you gonna say the same shit? Oh my god. Why aren't you helpful? Where am I supposed to get that the information? Why have I got baking soda as well? There wasn't another key though. What the heck? Please get me out of this. Find the key. What key? Oh, it's changed. Why has it changed? Because that was like a weird disfigured thing before. Oh my god, my legs are so achy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this code. Oh, oh, okay. Wait. Do I move there? What? I don't get it. <laughs> it's not moving. to make a pattern or
Well, I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to refer back to the cheats because I don't comprehend. Have I missed something? Wait, what? Go back upstairs and pull down the ladder so you can get back into the attic. It turns out the key doesn't fit the cage. It's actually for the keyhole above the mirror, which I found out. Go back to the room of the dolls and use the key above the mirror. We now have to solve a gears and slide in tiles puzzle. <sighs> the mirror will shatter. Look inside to find the key for the cage. But I think I'm just going to try and figure out how to get it like this. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, so these are all supposed to be up there why oh, don't let me do that okay this one can't be moved well that's shit How is that? I'm stuck. <laughs> Maybe it's got to go the other way, I don't know. Uh, how does that work? What the fuck? This is going to be incredibly frustrating. Okay. Where's the big one supposed to be? Am I being dumb? Like, is that supposed to be, like, really obvious? Or what? Okay. So I don't know how gears work. Is this just common sense? The three... These three brown ones are supposed to be together. So if I move it like that... And this is supposed to be, like, further down. Um like that well I'm getting there I guess well this is supposed to be down here so if I move them Oh, yeah, even though I completely cheated. Um, do I move now? Wait, hold on. Wait, something's supposed to be there. What am I missing? Oh, they're not supposed to be supposed to be like that. Hold on. They're supposed to be down. Okay. Ow. Um. How do I do it? Here we go. Bloody hell. That's frightening. That's very frightening. <laughs> that is scary. What the heck? Oh, bless her. What's this? Two skeletons? They're kind of small, like me. Oh, are they children? Experimenting on them. That's horrible. I can imagine who these two were. I'm not the killer. Fuck. Sister promise. We, Clara and Mia Beholmet promised to revenge the unfair destiny it had decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. What the heck? Maybe that mummy wasn't a good mummy at all. My mummy was very good. She hugged me many times. Hmm. These girls are very strange. I wonder why they hated each other so much. It's okay. 
My pills are called duotene too. Hmm, but they got the yellow ones. I wonder what's the difference. That's scary. Maybe they were two different persons after all. Ha, huh, the bed and floor look so familiar. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. Two-headed doll. It must be a really old doll. It's also quite dirty. I guess it's because they played with it a lot. My toys are also a bit dirty. I miss playing with my dollhouse. Okay. Pink rosette. Pretty hair decoration. Huh. Okay. Well, I've got the key. Okay. I feel like something is going to get in the way. This has got to be the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out, let me hug you. Something's going to happen. My heart, that's so sweet. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. You're free, my dear, now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Will he follow me? Oh. But where is home now? Where is home? I've got pins and needles. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, do you have some ideas of how to get out of this place? I'm sorry I don't. Maybe somebody else has some ideas. Is he just chilling there? <laughs> what? Maybe that frog. Oh my gosh, my leg's going dead. Oh. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how you how you will get out of but how you will get out of here? There is no boat. Help us out of here. I think you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. What if I gave him baking soda? Would he blow up? Take this toad. It may help. It's going to make him massive. I'm not a bakery bun, but you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. Wee! Oh, he's a big toad now. He's a horned frog, like one of the ones at work. He's so cute. We call him Kenny. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay. But try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. Mermaids? We, if we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh. And this book was with it, too. Leon? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you so much. I thought I'd lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Whoa, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> That's kind of a gross picture. <laughs> Is that the end? Oh, another one of these little miniature things. This is so cute. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, I guess. Uh, 
Oh no! Okay. 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 Yay! Again? Oh, dang it. Wait, will it disappear off the screen? Oh no! It's gone! What? Ah! Oh no! Okay, maybe I won't get that one then. Maybe I'll get... I don't know. Can I jump that far? No. Okay. I didn't think of this. Ah! <laughs> this is annoying. Alright. I'll, I'll just wait it out for a bit. They go so fast. I was just thinking with that first screen. Oh, it's not too bad. But actually, oh shoot. I didn't even mean to press that. Ah, this is not what I wanted to do. This is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Is anything else going to jump out? Oh dear. I'm stuck. Okay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I had the right idea, but left it. Okay. I was too quick to jump. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> ah, I don't want to jump. I just wanted to stop going back and forth so quick. This is really cute though. <laughs> oh my god, it's too fast. It's too fast. Okay, this is the one that I need then. Okay. Yay! I got an achievement unlocked, so I think that's it. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Where are we? Here we are, jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Whee! Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Uh, I'm so hungry and sleepy, I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Mm, what happens if she takes these? Will he disappear? Fuck. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it has many roots. They look like arms. I would love to have a conversation with the tree someday. It sounds all creepy. Oh these guys again they're tangled again they're sleeping maybe they're not stuck but well, I hope they have their hair comb so are you curious insects that got stuck okay come Mr Midnight oh dear this bridge looks pretty scary oh Frank come on we have to go home there's no time to be afraid now yes but I'm a bit afraid of heights <laughs> I can go first alright then you follow me alright kitty you're so sweet I'll be right behind you I don't like the sound of this Why is it creaking like that? This is a long branch. Fran, wait. Fuck! No, 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 no! No! What the heck? Sorry, I was uh, making too much noise. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. 
I got you. No! Fran, no! 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 Don't be afraid, Fran. I swear this was the f fall at the beginning. Did she do this? We always fall. Yeah. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry my little girl, your heart is pure but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please. Oh God. She needs to sort that out. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Oh God. Just like tormented dreams. She's like falling unconscious and stuff. Bloody hell. Don't tell me she's back there. Um, that tune sounds like the Gravity Falls song. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? We're from the cat's perspective now? These are Fran's stockings. One of Fran's shoes. His little paws. Fran's shoe. What a strange shape. What is it? I hear sounds coming from it. They speak. It may be a city. Ugh! What ugly tree, I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it, what are you talking about? Don't tell me that's Fran. Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. Just when I thought it was finished. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Why do they call each other my dear? That just sounds so grown up. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly, help me get up. What? Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. She said she wanted to talk to a tree, didn't she? What? But how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He just won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, the night Mum and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What is going on? Homka, igni mi hula. Kolke kolke igrunma. Pasku hula ni. Igni jokul vanti. What's going on? Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am? Hula, koki, hula. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Hula, run, man, igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. What is happening to us? Hula. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hula, igni, vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fram. <laughs> oh, I need to charge. Where's the charger? Hope you can still hear me. Kind of like 
ruined everything I just knocked stuff down as so I went to grab my charger I didn't realize how low it got him right it's, it looks all weird and grainy I'm not sure how I feel about that oh no not them again <clears throat> Elsa bear with me oh I'm back okay that was nice get a little bit of stretch for my legs and I might as well have fed her so that's what I did right how is he going to be able to jump I see my friend's purse I have to reach it somehow I refuse to expose my beautiful and soft fur to the water <laughs> what's that a shadow of the tree looks like someone going like that let's try this yay oh what what does this do oh I'll take this stone it's shiny <laughs> so cute. Let's go back. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now, show the sir who's attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Where are you taking her? What? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Better clothes. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galabar, Galabar. Whee! What is going on? This is so trippy. We've gone from one trippy scene to the next. Chapter 3, Vegetative State. I really thought this was the end, you know. pretty but that grainy filter is a bit uncomfortable to look at welcome creature my name is Zia do you speak human oh my goodness yes finally words I understand my good friend Ryde told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat I assume you are one of them the little girl please forgive my good friend if he scared you we have never seen a human looking like a tree before Yes, let me explain it to you. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. What? Huh? Oh, wow. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Oh, <laughs> get it now. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I feel like I've knocked this mic out of work. Um, I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat? Protector of gates? Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. <laughs> That's abrupt. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. 
What the heck? There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? What kind of question is that? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ah, ha, ha, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ith Ithrastar. Oh, what an honour, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to, some, to be some place where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are th things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That'll be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Uh, no thanks. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. Um, I didn't. Wait, oh, did you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You see, everything is your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? <laughs> a little, yes, I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where are you taking me? What the heck? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. What is happening? What is actually going on? Whoa! That's really pretty. It's like an axolotl. I love axolotls. Good day, my name is Palantris and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you sure the emer are you the emergency case? Whoa, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? <laughs> this is giving me like never ending story vibes. <laughs> oh I'm sorry, it's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Ah, oh, human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? I think this is where I am going to end today's video. Um, I felt like that went on for ages, but damn, what a lot has changed. What a lot has happened. The story's progressed, although I don't really know where it is exactly the story has gone and is going to go. But it's been fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I shall speak to you in another video soon. Bye.